Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created these designs right here. It is a really fast and easy video. Obviously there's not much to these designs, but I did wanna talk a little bit about couples designs for the holidays. And this is this one's been around for a while. It's funny and there's a bunch of different ways that you can go about doing this. So if you'd like to hear a little bit more about the couple shirts and see how I did this particular design, go ahead and stick around. So I am on Canva's home page, and as usual, we're gonna go ahead and just select custom size. This will be 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That will pull up a blank page here. Now for this design, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually creating two designs. So what we're gonna talk about is couple shirts or his and her shirts. Now this can be used for any holiday or any Thing in general but his and her shirts can be very popular and so what you'll want to do is make two different versions now I'm gonna do these in different colors as well so his version is going to have a black background so I'm just gonna go ahead and select a background color here for black but her version I'm gonna do for a white shirt so what I'm gonna do is add a page and on the second page I'm gonna change that background color to white so here I have the black version, this is gonna be for the guy, and the white version, this is gonna be for the girl. And again, you can do this for all sorts of different holidays and different um, events, whatever. But this one specifically for Christmas, it's a funny one, you may have seen different versions of it, but this one is for chestnuts, where the girl's shirt says chest and the boy's shirt says nuts. And I actually should have switched these so that the girl's shirt is on top just because it's gonna make it so that you can see it a little bit better. So let's do the girl's one first. So the girl's design is gonna say chest. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and let's write out the word chest. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here. And then for the guys, I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and this one is going to say nuts. Perfect. Now from here, it's all about picking the right font. So I went ahead, there's a lot of different ways you can go with this and you can create so many versions of the same thing using different fonts and different designs. But this one, I went ahead and used some of the Amsterdam fonts. Now I like Amsterdam fonts because they're the ones that have the really big first letter. And these are on Canva, so you don't have to go anywhere else to find them. So if I just put Amsterdam, there's several of them, here we go, one, two, three, and four and they have the really big first letters there, which usually look pretty cool. So for the chest part, I went ahead and used the Amsterdam 4, which gives me this big old C. I think that's the one that I liked the best. Oh no, I like that one, one. Did I use four on the nuts? Oh, I used four on the nuts and one on, and one on the chest. Okay, see, so many different ways to do this. Okay, so here's my chest which I'm pretty sure I used that one on. And then the nuts, I also did the Amsterdam. Maybe that, yeah, that's the one that I used the four on. Okay, so four and one are the ones that I used. And here are my nuts. And so we can see sort of how that already looks. Chest, I'm gonna go ahead now and add um, some graphics. So I wanna keep this really simple. It's a fast design. I'm gonna go up to elements and I'm gonna go ahead and look for chestnuts. Oops, chestnut. And you can do photos, you can do graphics. I am just looking for, you know, something like that where you just get the pair of chestnuts. So any of those would work well where you just see essentially two different nuts and you can pick whichever ones you want. Um, I know I had seen some earlier that I liked, but any of these will do. I mean, that one's kind of cool there. It's got the pretty much two chestnuts going on and that might be a good version. You can keep looking, you can play, you can pick whichever ones you want. Obviously there's tons, but something like that is pretty much what I'm going for. And I'm gonna use the same graphic on both. Here's another one that I had seen that I liked and it just gives you the two chestnuts. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know which one I like better. Let's go ahead and go with this one, why not? And then the other one I was gonna look for was wreath like a Christmas wreath. And there's all sorts of fun wreath designs. Um, there's one in particular that I liked because 
instead of just being a circle, it had two different versions. And you'll see in a second when I find it that the uh, one version works really well for the girl's shirt and one version works really well for the guy's shirt. And so <laughs> as soon as I find it, I will show you guys. But you can click on any of these and there's a ton of different ones and you don't have to do what I do, but here it is. So this one is under wreath, but you can already see the shape that it is giving you. And so, boom. I'll make that nice and big and perfect. Make sure we bring this up a little bit. Bring my, oops, this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring my little chestnuts kind of right there in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a color to match this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go with sort of that greenish, dark green color that's in there. And so that's kind of the girl's design right there. It says chest. <laughs> and then down here for the guys, I'm gonna do very similar. When I clicked on that, it, it brought up Magic Mirror Recommendations. And the cool thing is there's a circle version of that same one here, but now in a circle. And so the nuts version, what I was gonna do, oops, giving me trouble, is take this nuts version and bring it here. And then I'm just gonna copy these, control D, and I'm gonna bring them right there. And I can keep that white or I can change its color to something darker, but that's essentially it. Really easy design, but humorous. It, um, I'm sure you can figure out why. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now you can create this a zillion different ways, however you want, and you can put up many, many different versions of this. It's popular every year. This one I sell a lot on Etsy because I can put the listing as one listing. Um, and so I've got one listing for chestnuts and it's just like couple shirts and they can pick the white shirt or the black shirt and that's gonna tell you which, um, whether they're getting the girls or the guys or they order one white shirt and one black shirt. And so this is all one listing, which is great. I've seen it a lot also on Amazon, but you're gonna have to list these obviously separately. So you're just gonna have a shirt that is listed under chest and another shirt that's listed under nuts. And you're gonna have to hope that the people would find both versions of your shirt because you can't guarantee that they're both going to be seen at the same time. And so that's kind of a little bit more challenging for, for that for Amazon, but for Etsy, it's great because you can you know put them together in the same listing and you can even use a thumbnail that shows both of them. And so I'll, you know, I'll do that. And I've, I've had this style of design up for a while. So this was really quick and easy to make. I don't wanna you know, spend a lot of time since I know I've had some longer videos lately, but I did wanna show you guys sort of how you could go ahead and make a couple's shirt pretty quick and easy. And um, if you just you know, search for couple shirts on Amazon, I'm sure you could come up with a lot of just funny ones that they've got already for different holidays and for different occasions. And so this one is, not new, this has been around for a while, but it's a good funny one and there's a lot of versions up. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, throw it in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I know there's been some video requests and again, I've added those to my list, but I do have a, a good list going um, for quarter four right now. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well and I do hope to see you again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.